Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's episode 10. Always good to see you in We have one more plot mission to do before we can do a side mission. Uh, one more. One more side mission to do before we can do a plot mission. That is currently where we are at with this game. So, I'm going to do this mission simply because... And for no other reason than it's for the pirate organization. Although I honestly, I have no idea how much uh, reputation I'm going to build throughout the course of this campaign. If I'm to be honest with you. I mean, I've completed entire base game campaigns and sort of reached the point of having, um, like 50, 60 reputation with most factions. So far, I haven't seen any missions that are that are denied to us based on our reputation, so this mod may have some version of my alternative reputation system. Careful, man. There's a beverage here. Let's go bowling, dude. Um. Oh, it's this map. This map actually has a potential vanilla crash in it. Acknowledged. The enemy teleports in up here. Not always. But sometimes on this map, if there's enemy reinforcements, they teleport in exactly Roger here. That. And uh, if you attack them during their teleport in, during their, their phase in turn, the game can crash. On my way. Which sometimes necessitates leaving them alive, Moving out. even though you don't want to. Uh oh, new contacts. Right, let's give ourselves a better angle of the situation. I always remember this cliff, because this is the cliff where I took the murder cicada in the Four Lights Amanda. campaign and killed like five assaults with it. Just to prove how ridiculous we got bad guys. a correctly built mech, melee mech could be. Orders. Roger. Roger. Receive my disapproval. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Standing by. All right. On it. Unleash the vomit. Roger that. Ouch, that's an AC5. Damage minimal. Okay, that was dumb. Oh, it's a version unk. Unk, 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 unk. Oh, What can 
I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? I read you, Commander. Moving out. Got it. Skills. Nice. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Mm. Yes, Commander. Roger. Okay, most of his weapons have been destroyed, so... I guess we can focus on making this guy's day an unpleasant one. Oh, Nearly. All weapons committed. Damn. Enemy mech. I mean, don't get me wrong, the hits are nice, but I was hoping to hit the leg. Ready for orders. So I knocked him down, he would be pushed into the medium phase. And then I could just kill him before he gets another go. Okay, there's a turret with a PPC, there's a turret with an AC5. Two turrets with PPCs. Light damage. Holding firm. Probably should just pull back up onto the hill temporarily. This is just a shield arm, so not a big deal. You know, in a way, these UNK mechs sort of feel like Battletech revised mechs in their design. Up. Yeah, we've taken a lot of damage, so I'm just gonna back away. I hope we can salvage that. But obviously in Battletech Revised, certain weapons have been reduced in weight Orders. to where they're actually more useful. Coordinates received. Giving them everything I've got. Okay, that was not 50%. The vast majority of my shots missed. On my way. Roger that. Firing on target. Just the one. Engaging target. I've been sensor locked. Stay out of that turret range. Damn. You got nothing, you hear me? It's the second time I've taken a hit.
irritating. Oh well, whatever. Get over it. Receiving you. Moving to position. I'll do. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, he somehow managed to take all of that. This is the left side, right? It is the left side, right? This is the right side, left. Moving to position. Right, Commander. That's a kill. Fun. No damage detected. Ready for orders. Location confirmed. Okay, he took it. It's not a problem. This is kind of lazy and not particularly safe play here. I could have just pulled my guys back behind the ridge line, then the turrets would not be able to do anything. Good to go. Most of the damage I've taken is actually coming off come off the turrets, not the uh, not the enemy mechs. Waiting for orders. Uh, that would show my right side to the enemy, which is fine. Engaging physical attack. 65 damage and he took it. Hit him in the leg. Good to go. Coordinates received. He's really taken the punishment. Everything. Jumping. Everything except the guy. Got it. Okay. Go. Kill confirmed, Commander. All right. Let's go ahead. Commander. Start working on those turrets, shall we? We'll send the enforcer forward. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. What the hell? Uh, okay. And there's the uh, reinforcements that I talked about warped in. There's a bug that if you attack them, standing by, a potential bug. It doesn't always happen. If you attack them, the when they spawn in, the game crashes. Locked on for physical attack. Scored a critical hit. Commander. 
but you know. On my way. It's uh, I'm kind of allergic to uh, being killed by mechs that have just spawned in right on top of me. So. Oh, there goes his weapons. That hit something good. Commander. Now you are luggage. I'll see if I can get the other one by rear striking it. Unfortunately, I moved the enforcer forward to uh, so I could go for the turrets. But now I need to get rid of these generals. sort of remove themselves from being a threat. Engaging jump jets. All weapons committed. Battle mech power up detected. This guy who was here. Somehow managed to barbecue himself. On it. Inexplicably. Firing on target. Good to go. Yes, Commander. Commander? Seven and five, that is... Potentially dumpsterable. Here we go! Nice! Sadly, I don't have multi-shot on my missile boat yet. Oh, well. anyway, the only realistic shot I have is uh, on a turret. Should I soften this one or should I just kill this one? Honestly, 15 missiles was probably plenty, but... Safety first. He's like four evasion tokens and 60% damage reduction. There's really no no need to uh, undo that defense right now. Armor's holding. And my rear armor laughs at the attempt. Oh, he didn't even hit the rear armor. He found leg from the rear. But the rear armor would have taken it. Damage minimal. Yes, Commander. 
good to go. You are in the danger zone! One hit. And I didn't get it. I needed one large laser hit in the back. And I didn't get it. Oh, a Phoenix Hawk. Somehow it overheated itself. Waiting for orders. Probably overheated itself jumping around like an idiot. Okay, I need like one hit. Affirmative. Down. Good to go. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of this firepower. All weapons are go. Engaging target. Sweet. Okay, it's fine. He is now vulnerable. Receiving you. Very vulnerable. On it. I copy. Target's taken a critical hit. There goes his evasion. I led with the missiles there because I knew I would destabilize him. Okay, it's a shield arm, doesn't matter. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Doesn't mean that we wanna Commander? just sit there and be be bashed, but And another one bites the dust. for a little sprint around the back. Just want to see if I can get eyes on that turret. Probably a short range turret because it's not firing. Or it's got a bad angle. Whatever the issue is, it needs to die at some point. We already captured a uh, one single piece of a Phoenix Hawk version unk. I wouldn't mind some more. Let's wait for him to make his move. He's running super hot, so... Okay. I lost a weapon. Not a big deal. Good to go. Go ahead. Affirmative. Nice. Commander. Roger that. Start proceedings with the leg covering. That hit something. 
good. Hmm, didn't get it. What do you need? Heading out. I copy. All right. Injured. Got past his armor. Double injured. Now, he's only a pilot. <clears throat> That's the piloting tree, obviously. So, the piloting tree. Um, it doesn't offer you any additional hit points, so he should only have three health. And we might be able to, uh, get ourselves. I'm losing weapon system. Oh, Phoenix Hawk. Don't miss. Engaging target. Okay, it's fine. Target destroyed. Aye, aye. Right, while we're waiting to make our move. Acknowledged. Engage target. Oh, nice hits. While we're waiting to make our move against the Phoenix Hawk, I'm going Ready to roars. take the opportunity here to blast this Jenner. So you want him to stand up so I can knock him down. Solid connection on that one. Waiting for orders. It's always the issue with having your weapons in your arms. On my way. There we go. I was trying to push damage into the CT and successfully did so. Hey, he's facing the other way. Perfect. Standing by. Orders. Right, while he's lying on the floor. Let's go, so we can get that other leg. Onk. I think he's got no weapons now, right? Okay, he's got a medium laser. Armor holding. That's sad times. Yes, Commander. Position confirmed. Not bad, not bad. It's very close to a both legs destroyed situation. All weapons committed. <laughs> Brutal. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Good to go. Go for the leg. No. Nope. We didn't get it, but we will. I hope. Minor damage, Commander. Yes, Commander. Too close. Got it. Ooh. 
Oof. Critical hit, Commander. Is he still wobbly? He's still like wobbly. Nice. That hit hard. Right, Commander. All right, make it happen. Got it. Oh, my legs. Mech destroyed. Standing by. <laughs> he's turned his back because that's actually where he's got the most armor. Copy that. Not gonna matter. All oh, right, we took a bit of light damage here, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it in the loot table. This mech has long needed a redesign anyway. The LRM-5 is just weird. Target destroyed. Good to go. Makes very little sense. Target confirmed. That's a wrap. No, you're not. You're not coming in hot. This, this is like, ah, uh, <laughs> it's just a tedious cleanup. Take your time, Samiri. We killed them. The turretlings and the mechlings and the tanklings too. We killed them like animals. Oh, I don't actually have a piece of the Phoenix Hawk unk. Unk, unk, unk. I thought I did. Right, so in theory now we should unlock the next story mission. If we're following the standard machinations of the plot.
back online. Jenner. I'd rather have a Jenner than a Javelin. Ah, oh, I should have gotten rid of the spider. Let's do a little bit of bay time, shall we? Let's power down that spider. Wait, I do have Phoenix... What? I have two... Two pieces of two different kinds of Phoenix Hawk version Unk. So I wasn't mad. I'm not losing the plot. But the, there's two different versions of the Phoenix Hawk, Hawk Unk that have the same designation. So there you go. That clarifies that confusion. That's just bad, if I'm honest. Um, you should never have two mechs with the same designation. So, that is a fault of the mod for not having different designations for these. Right, I don't think there's anything I want to change about this design. So we'll leave it as it is. And be too However, I have wanted to change this for a while. Pretty obvious why. An LRM five in a weird spot. You could run this as a missile boat uh, with an LRM fifteen rack. Five tons, man. Large lasers are heavy in the base game. You know, a good alternative actually is to run SRMs. It suits the short range design. And SRMs are not heavy. If only we could get a half rack of missiles. Uh, I don't know if there are SRM half packs in this mod. A hundred rounds at six a shot. is too many volleys. Uh, I could lose a heatsink. 
Let's lose a heat sink and let's also bump up the uh, rear armor. This, I mean, this is a brawler, right? It's pretty simple. Short range mech, short range weapons. It's gonna brawl. There will be brawl. And if it's gonna brawl, uh, then an SRM6 rack suits it very nicely. Uh, an alpha of 24 is not terrible. The issue is jump jets plus that alpha kind of limit it a little bit, but it should be fine. It's certainly better than having that weird... No one next to um, that weird SRM 5 doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make a lick of sense, as they say in the US. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, two missile racks in the CT. That's interesting. Five tons to play with. I usually like to run them with four medium lasers. Gives them a bit of alpha. Though. Having two lasers exposed like this. Uh, yeah, 48 alpha. It's not unreasonable. Unfortunately, the thing about SRMs is they require ammunition, which is another ton. So when you're on a tight budget for for a weight, uh, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Delta of 18 is really not that much. <coughs> yeah, if you ran SRMs, you'd be running half the firepower. Now, there's genuinely nothing to do with that. You could free up a ton by, by killing armor. But it's not really worth doing anything with it. And I certainly wouldn't want to try and free up another ton by trimming more aggressively to get like an SRM2 in or something. Right. To be fair, the quad... Quad medium laser Jenner is a is a stalwart mech. A hundred damage is is a lot of damage when you get behind somebody. A hundred damage may not seem like a lot, but when you maneuver behind someone, it's a lot. Okay. We'll just, before we finish up, we'll just burn a little bit of time here.
Let's invite them to a meeting with a client. I don't know actually, I might just leave that as it is. Because we might go on a jolly somewhere. So there are a couple of flashpoints and I don't recognize I recognize this one, I think, jinxed. I think I've seen that one before. Maybe not. However, this one I don't think I've ever seen before. So I might be tempted to go and do a flashpoint, just because it's better than, it's more interesting than just doing normal missions, right? Oh, I'm sitting on a pile of... Go away, spider. I'm like the unk versions of mechs are better than the standard ones, so they can go too. I will never use a Commando 2D, that can go. Alright, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.